Yep, so we're back. Question number three. It says, verify that the given differential operator annihilates the indicated function. Now, the operator we are given is 2d minus 1. So, we are told to show that it annihilates e to the power x over 2. Now, to show that 2d minus 1 annihilates this function, it suffices to show that 2d minus 1 when it operates on e to the power x all over 2, we want to show that our value is 0. That's actually the main of the annihilation. It annihilates, it's like it just chops it off. So how then do you do it? To make it very easy, or a very good way to understand the whole principle is to treat the d operator like, like an algebraic term. In other words, what I mean is, so like you're expanding, so you have 2d minus 1 times this, so this is going to be 2d into e to the power x all over 2. That's a very good way to look at it. Minus 1 times this, which is going to be e to the power x all over 2. So these are left-hand side. So we want to show that this equals 0. So the derivative of e to the power x over 2 is half e to the power x all over 2 minus e to the power x all over 2. And then this crosses out. So we have, so this gives us e to the power x all over 2 minus e to the power x over 2 and then this minus this it gives us 0 which is actually equal to um, the right hand side so that shows that um, 2d minus 1 2d minus 1 is an annihilator annihilator don't mind your handwriting or you, you know, I think you understand what I'm trying to say is the annihilator of of y equals e to the power x over 2 I'm just repeating the whole thing all right, let's go to the next question. The next question says, now you're giving a different kind of operator, which is d minus 2 into d plus 5. And then we want to show that this annihilates y equals e to the power 2x plus 3e to the power negative 5x. So, as previously, to show that this annihilates this, it implies that when this operator, when it acts on this function here, the image should be zero. That is, we want to show, this is what we want to show. We want to show that, we want to show that d minus 2, d plus 5, when it's a linear operator, when it acts on e to the power 2x, plus 3e to the power negative 5x we should get we should get 0 now to show this I'm going to start with my left hand side so what I have on my left hand side is d minus 2 into d plus 5 now times e to the power 2x plus 3e to the power negative 5x so like I said a very good way to look at this whole thing is to treat the operator, that's the d operators, like algebraic terms. So I'm going to expand now. To expand, I'll multiply this by this, and then this by this. So look at me now. This is going to be d minus 2 into d plus 5 times e to the power 2x, then plus, like normal expansion, d minus 2 times d plus 5, times what we have here which is 3 e to the power negative um, negative 5x so that's what we have there. and when we expand d minus 2 times d plus 5 what we have is d squared minus 7d um, d squared plus 7d minus 10 that, that's that's what we have um, is it d squared minus 7d minus 2d plus 5d that's minus 3d okay that's minus 3d minus 10 so into e to the power 2x plus d squared minus 3d minus 10 then into 3e to the power negative 5x so this is what you have so like i said to perform this operation treat the d's like they were algebraic terms so we're going to start by expanding out d squared times e to the power 2x is going to be this so it's operating on this separately minus 3d e to the power 2x then minus 10 e to the power 2x so we'll go to the next one plus 
So again, d squared times this. So like d squared acting on e to the power negative 5x. It's not like it's, it's multiplying, but that's a very good way to look at it. So 3d is acting on 3e to the power negative 5x. Then minus 10 times 3e to the power negative 5, negative 5x. So when we do this now, the second derivative of, uh, of e to the power 2x is 4 4 e to the power 2x plus that's um, the second derivative of e to the power um, the, the derivative of e to the power 2x is um, 2 e to the power 3x then times 3 which is going to be plus 3 plus 3e I'm trying to check what happened here this is this is d times d that's d squared then d times this that's 5d minus 2d then minus 10. Oh, there, there, there's something wrong here. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm very, very sorry for that. I'm very sorry. I, I just felt something happened here. So this is plus. So this should be plus actually. So this should be plus. I'm sorry for that. All right. So let's continue enjoying the whole video. So we have 4e to the power 2x. Then three times the derivative of e to the power 2x is going to give us 6e to the power 2x. Then minus minus 10 e to the power 2x then plus the second derivative of um 3 e to the power negative 5 x is going to give us 75 plus 75 e to the power negative 5 x that, that that should be correct then minus 3d times that's three times the derivative of of that is going to be minus minus 45 e to the power negative 5x we could always confirm this then minus 10 times and um, times 3 that is a uh, minus 30 e to the power negative 5x so from here minus 45 minus 30 that's minus 75 e to the power negative 5x and then we have 75 e to the power negative 5 5x so we know this this goes off so we are left with this now for that side what we have is 4 plus 6 which is 10 e to the power 2x then minus 10 e to the power 2x so from that side also we have that this crosses this so and which gives us 0 and 0 is our right hand side so we have been able to show that the left hand side the left hand side equals the right hand side so therefore the operator we are given which is d minus 2 into v plus 5 is actually an annihilator of of this function there and then that completes the problem